In this demo you will see how the beneficiary contact will generate the beneficiary report. Save and print the draft report and complete and submit the report. Ben, the beneficiary user, will log into MT Plus using his eCAS user ID and password. Once in MT Plus, Ben selects the project for which he wants to submit the beneficiary report. Before generating the beneficiary report, Ben checks that the project data is up to date. He checks mobility details. Adjustments made to the mobility details will automatically update the budget summary. Ben also checks the budget summary. Ben adds the current organizational support amount of 1,400. And also, he checks the organization details. If organization details that are entered in E-plus link require to be updated, the NA should first be notified in the details updated in the URF, and then in E-plus link before being updated in MT-plus. When Ben is satisfied that all of the project data is up to date, he can go to the Reports tab and generate the beneficiary report. Click on Generate Beneficiary Report. Click on Edit Draft. You will notice that the section's context and summary of participating organizations are already filled in. To view the next section you can select it or scroll down. Click on Project Summary. Add a summary for the project. Once the next section, 4. Description of the project is clicked, the previous section receives a green check mark, as all fields for that section have been completed. In a similar way all other sections will be completed. The budget section contains an overview of the budget summary from the budget tab. The values can be adjusted from the budget mobilities or from the budget summary. Supporting documentation can also be added. Click on Annexes. Click on Select File to upload a file. At any stage, it's possible to return to the report page, which saves the report as draft. Click on Return to Report Page. The Release Draft button allows the beneficiary to end the current draft and generate a new draft with the latest project information. To continue editing, click on Continue Editing Draft. The draft version can be printed by clicking on Print Draft. Once all sections are completed, Ben will click on Start Submission Process. A pop-up window appears. Before submission can be completed, a small check appears to ensure that all necessary annexes are attached and steps performed. The first step is to check if the beneficiary declaration of honor and signature is signed and attached. If not already done, it can be downloaded from the screen and attached. Click on Next Step. The Data Protection Notice is displayed. This notice must be accepted in order to continue the process. Click on Accept. A checklist appears. Please ensure that all items have been performed. Then, change them from Not Done to Done. Click on Next Step. 
Ben reads that the project will be locked once the Submit Beneficiary Report button is clicked. Click on Submit Beneficiary Report. A message is displayed to say that the submission is in progress. It may take up to 15 minutes before the submission to Eplus link is completed. This concludes this lesson. Thank you for watching.